Versus Карлос Назар. Welcome to Torah T Media. Your trusted source for the journeys of the world's finest Olympic weightlifters. In today's spotlight is Bulgarian Carlos Nazar. A remarkable athlete whose swift ascent in world weightlifting has captured the attention of fans worldwide. Known for his prodigious talent and formidable records, Nassar's path has recently been marred by an unexpected injury, a hurdle that has temporarily sidelined his competitive pursuits. In this in-depth profile, we'll explore the milestones that have defined his career, the challenges he's faced, and the resilience that has become synonymous with his name. Turovki, media. Carlos Nassar, at the age of just 19, has redefined excellence in weightlifting, setting world records that defy his youthful age. Competing in both the 81 kilos and 89 kilos categories, Nassar has demonstrated a prowess that has not only etched his name into the history books, but has also left a resounding impact on the sport's future. Just imagine, he won his first senior silver medal at Europeans at the age of 16. His record-breaking 208 kilograms clean and jerk at 17 at 2021 Worlds was a prelude to the astonishing 221 kilos world record he achieved at the 2023 Europeans in Armenia. Solidifying his reputation as a weightlifting prodigy. These epic lifts have not only garnered him titles and acclaim, but have also served as an inspiration to aspiring athletes around the globe, showcasing the heights that can be reached with dedication and talent. Carlos Nassar's physique is as impressive as his lifting records. His robust build, characterized by a mix of youthful resilience and the raw strength typical of seasoned weightlifters, speak volumes about the dedication behind his training regime. By the way, he is a big fan of Torohti Media Camera. Every time they both meet, it's a match. Hit the like button if you agree with this. Shortly after his performance at the last European, Carlos Nassar suffered a serious leg injury, tearing his Achilles tendon due to a domestic accident where a broken sink detached and fully severed his tendon. The injury and surgery have led to a varied recovery prognosis, with estimates ranging from four months for Nassar to start moving and engaging in light running training to eight months as an optimistic full recovery period. In September, we saw him at the training hall at Worlds in Saudi Arabia. He did not compete, but at the Bulgarian team workout, he confidently showed 160 kg snatches, 180 kg in power cleans with push jerks. And these recovery and rehab tempos give us hope that soon this talent will be back again at the big competition platform. In the beginning of November, Carlos performed at Bundesliga in Germany and lifted a promising total of 385 kilos, just 10 kilograms less than his personal best. As the weightlifting community watches in anticipation, there is confidence in his ability to bounce back and again display the formidable power and technical excellence that have become hallmarks of his performances. The Olympic snatch is the moment that demands technique, balance and, of course, strength. If you want to learn how to safely lift the barbell over your head, follow the link below and download the Snatch Masterclass. This book consists of 20 theoretical and practical lessons that will allow you to learn the movement from the very beginning. Enjoy your journey! The true essence of Carlos Nazar's character is revealed in his reaction to adversity. Despite the severity of his injury, 
His response has been one of the unwavering determination and a steadfast refusal to let circumstances dictate his potential. His optimism about the recovery process and a future return to the sport encapsulates his mental fortitude. It's this blend of youthful courage and the maturity of an athlete who has faced down the barbell countless times that distinguishes Nassar as a figure of admiration in the weightlifting community. In times of challenge, the support of his current coach Plamen Bratoychev and national team chief coach Ivan Ivanov becomes even more invaluable due to the tragic fact that the first Carlos's coach Ilyan Ilyev passed away a bit more than one year ago. That is why, especially now, the guidance and experience of his coaching team are instrumental, providing strategic advice and emotional support. This World Cup in Qatar was pivotal, serving as a qualifying ground for the Paris 2024 Olympics. The pressure was immense, the expectations were high, and the stakes couldn't be more significant. Nassar's absence from the last World Cup championship due to his injury has only added to the intrigue surrounding his comeback. After his training sessions just a few days before competition, it was clear that he is in perfect shape, so everyone expected an outstanding show at the platform. But in the snatch, it didn't go easy and flawless, because he succeeded in two attempts and secured 170 kilos, and this was only sixth place. So he had in front of himself a powerful gang of Nino Pizzolato, Andranik Karapetian, Kedomar Vajania, Bodhi Sentavi, and 10 kilos gap from the snatch winner from Colombia, Jason Lapis. Carlos wasn't disheartened by the snatch result. Instead, it fueled his determination for the clean and jerk. Effortlessly lifting 205 kilos in the first attempt, he confidently secured the bronze overall with a second lift of 211 kilograms. Then he boldly requested 223 kilograms on the barbell. He stepped up to the platform and made history once more. A new world record for both juniors and seniors. An extraordinary achievement. Carlos's performance in Qatar was not just about securing a spot in the Olympics. It was about making a statement. That he was back, stronger and more determined than ever. The weightlifting community buzzed with anticipation, waiting to see if this young titan would rise to the occasion and reclaim his position at the pinnacle of the Iron Game. It was a quest for Olympic glory, and it began in Qatar. <laughs> Stay with Torok T Media to uncover the secrets of the most interesting and popular lifters. Stay strong, stay focused, and remember our motto Warm Buddy, Cold Mind.